Hi everybody. What does it mean to be courageous? Is it running across a battlefield? Is it putting your life on the line for somebody else? Or is it helping somebody in a time of need? For actor Steve Buscemi, his life and actions on 9-11 and throughout his life demonstrate that courage takes many forms. And so today I want to discuss several ways that Steve Buscemi has exhibited courage throughout his life. And in our lifetimes, each one of us will be called upon to demonstrate courage in some form. And so it's going to be beneficial for all of us to know courage when we see it. I've been studying Steve Buscemi's life for the past six weeks in order to give you the best account of his courageous efforts in his life. And so today I want to discuss Buscemi's courage in his early career, his actions during 9-11, and then finally during his family's battle with cancer. And so as I said before, courage takes many forms and often presents itself in different ways. The first way it presented itself for Buscemi was when he decided to become a firefighter. Uh, Steve Buscemi was 18 years old, and he didn't know what he wanted to do, much like many of us. He had no idea what he wanted to do with his life. But according to Royzen O'Connor of the Business Insider, Buscemi decided to take the FDNY civil service test after his father had suggested it to him. And a few weeks after he took that test, he got up at 5 a.m. when the sun was just beginning to show signs of life and the rest of us are still asleep in our beds. And as he walked out the door, he was faced with a cold breeze, and he knew that he was no longer the 18-year-old kid who was twisting in the wind, not knowing which way to go. Buscemi walked into Engine Company 55 in Manhattan's Little Italy in 1980, and for the next four years, he would serve in one of the FDNY's busiest firehouses, putting his life on the line for others every single day. He first came uh, shortly, his first fire came shortly after joining Indian Company 55, and they were called to the scene of a house fire in the middle of the night. Bright flames could be seen shooting for blocks away, and it, it, one thing that I found interesting was he said that he could smell the smoke as soon as they rolled down the window over a mile away, and he knew that it was a big fire. And when they arrived, his heart was racing. His adrenaline was fueling his senses. He heard glass shattering and timber snapping, people yelling. Yet in the midst of all the chaos, he summoned the courage to fight the fire. So while many people think of firefighters as being courageous, Buscemi took it to the next level on 9-11. According to Ben Falk of Yahoo Sports, Steve Buscemi would moonlight as an actor during his firefighting career until he got his big break in a film called Parting Glances, at which time he quit his firefighting job to become an actor. However, on 9-11, as the Twin Towers were falling in downtown Manhattan, Buscemi was on his way back to that same firehouse he had served in 17 years earlier. In the week after the attacks, Buscemi worked 12-hour days alongside the same men and women he had previously served with sifting through the rubble, looking for survivors. The air was thick with smoke, as so many of us have seen images of 9-11. It was impossible to see down the, the street. The smoke was so thick. But Buscemi stood there, looking at what seemed to be this incredible mountain in the middle of Manhattan. And for 12 hours a day, he poked and he prodded through that rubble, looking for anyone who had survived and often coming across the faces of those who would never see the light of another day. He did so not because it was his job anymore, but because he felt a sense of duty to help those in need and in distress, and a need to be with his brothers and sisters in that firehouse. And even though he had a successful acting career with millions of dollars to his name already, he decided to serve others at a time when most were running scared. And so the final example that I want to share with you today of Steve Buscemi's courage happened only recently. Storm Gifford of the New York Daily News explained that Buscemi's wife, Jo Andres, died, in, died of cancer in January of 2019. According to Jacob Stolworthy in The Independent, 
Buscemi appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert just a few weeks after the passing of his wife. Most people have trouble leaving the house, let alone appear on national television. Buscemi wasn't going to let that personal tragedy affect the way that he lived his life. And so as he stood backstage, waiting to go on The Late Show and have the, the hot, hot lights of Hollywood once again shined upon him, he had a choice to make, much as many of us do. Would he stay in the shadows and hide from the world? Or would he step forward into the light and be seen? Steve Buscemi has experienced a lot in his life. And his courage was on full display when he chose to step into the light and go on that TV show. First we saw today the courage of Steve Buscemi when he decided to become a firefighter and put his life on the line for others and serve the people of New York City. Second, we saw him leave a successful acting career and go back to that same firehouse and sift through the rubble looking for survivors on 9-11 when he had no obligation to do so. And then finally, we saw him after the death of his wife, stepping out into the light and into the public eye once again. As I said earlier, courage takes many forms. It can be saving lives. It could be helping others or simply having a shoulder to cry on. What matters most is that we recognize courage when we see it and applaud those who are willing to put it on display. Thank you all.